a nice day. Oh, Jesus Christ, guys. What's going on, guys? Yellow douchebag here. So yellow douchebag has to get back to talking some shit because it serves his purpose. I can't just sit back in the cut trying to do some work, get all corporate and shit, and leave my people behind. I got to do what's best for me. So let's start talking shit again, shall we? Okay, so met a guy who I thought was a legit racer, thought he could uh, teach me some shit, thought he could, uh, I thought he could, uh, you know, kind of, I thought he knew what was going on. Then he says some stupid ass shit like, there is no way a stick car can shift just as fast as, a, as an automatic car. Okay, I, I, I just, oh, okay, okay. Let, let me give you a quick story. So uh, sit back, relax, and you Camaro guys, go ahead and sit on your cock fucking chair and chill out and listen to YOLO. So this guy said some shit like, hey, you know, you can't shift this fast as an automatic, impossible. I said, really? Let's talk about 11 to 14 Mustangs. If I have a stick, 11 to 14 versus an automatic 11 to 14, who do you got your money on? Oh, then he was like stuttering like a motherfucker. No, no, I'm talking about cars with tunes on them. I said, okay, let's get a tuned Mustang 11 to 14 versus a tuned Mustang automatic. Who do you got your money on? And he was like, well, I'm a tuner. Oh, uh, I'm talking about big boy horsepower shit. I said, all right, the, the majority of the world is in the five to 800 horsepower realm. Get me a stick car, 800, let's say 100 flywheel, about 700 rear wheel, stick car, set up properly with the right tire, all that shit, same thing with the automatic. Who you got your money on? Oh, he said 100% of the time the automatic guy will win, and that's just not the case. If the guy knows how to fucking drive and the car is set up properly. So it made me think, this motherfucker doesn't know shit. This motherfucker doesn't know anything. So we started talking about tires. Oh, you don't need a big 2810 tire, that's dumb. All you need is proper traction control and you can go fast on any size wheel. So I said to him, then why isn't, why are people running eights, sevens, sixes with, you know, a 20 inch rim dubs with spinners? Oh, they don't have the right technology. I said, look, if you get a stick car, a stick car that has a big soupy tire, little shot of nitrous, it's going to be half of the shit on the fucking road. If he knows how to shift it and the suspension is set up properly. Oh, uh, you know what the fuck you're talking about? My car has so much technology. That there's no way a basic ass bitch car is gonna fuck with me. That stayed in my head. So I met a guy one time and he's like, hey, I raced that car. I said, wait a minute, you raced his car? I never knew about this. Yeah, I totally pushed his shit in. I pushed his shit right in. I said, really? He goes, yeah, I got video too. I said, you have video? And and my goodness, up so fucking hard that he wasn't even in the shot anymore. It was just like, one, two, three, what? what, what, And he was like, like, the car wasn't even in the fucking shot. And it made me think, well, there's my proof right there. Had a big soupy drag radio, stick car, nitrous, whoop, gap city, gapity gap gap motherfucker. And it validated my point. And it made me think, I admired that motherfucker. I admired that guy from afar. Shit, it, it fucks with your head a little bit. So it made me think, you, you should never meet your heroes in any capacity, never meet your heroes, people. They will disappoint you 100% of the time. Yellow douchebag out.